Hydro flasks insulate, but how well do they do it? I decided to test it out. Here's how it went. Dave Taylor here, and I am surrounded by our collection of hydro flasks. Actually, that's not true. We have even more than these. But nonetheless, Hydro Flask was super cool in sending me one of their big monster 32 ounce tumblers because I said, I know you guys have insulative abilities and I know what you promise, but I wanna test it out and really find how well they insulate. So before we go any further, let me just tell you about it. This beast is a 32 ounce insulated stainless steel tumbler. It uses their temp shield technology with double wall vacuum insulation and it's an 18 slash eight grade stainless steel. Now, one of the great things about this is obviously it insulates, but it also means there's no condensation. So if it's a hot, muggy, humid day and you have a cold beverage in here, you won't have all this water, you won't leave rings on the table and everything, super nice. Now, it's big, 32 ounces is a lot of beverage, that's three cans of soda, 12, 24, 36, well, not quite three cans of soda, but it's a lot of beverage. Now, here's what Hydro Flask says, and I'm gonna move these other ones out of the way just a little bit so we have a little space here, right? So what Hydro Flask says is they say that this will keep something ice cold for up to 24 hours, and it will keep it hot for up to six hours. Now, hmm, I happen to have my iGrill thermometer and this is actually a Bluetooth device. It's very nice. I use it for barbecuing. It's handy. And then it pairs with my smartphone and it can show me exactly what's happening to the temperature. And that is exactly what we did. So my methodology was to fill this up with whatever temperature liquid and then put the lid on and then put the probe through the lid and let it sit in the middle of the beverage. And that was it. That's all I did. And then I just watched the clock and I just wrote down the temperature at various time intervals. Now, how did it do? Well, I'm glad you asked because here's what happened. I have all these little notes here. So when I used ice water and I had a lot of ice, but I used ice water and it started out at anyone, what's ice water? 32 degrees, right? Hey, good job. So it started out at 32 degrees and 12 hours later, it was at 34 degrees. So in 12 hours, it barely lost any cool at all. Now, Hydro Flask says it lasts 24 hours. So what happened then? So when it was 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So when I was, uh, let's see, uh, 15 hours later, it was at 42 degrees. So it did really well for that first 11, 12, 13 hours, and then it started to warm up. And so it was at 42 degrees, and then at two hours later, it was at 46 degrees, and finally, 24 hours later, it was at 54 degrees. Now, 54 degrees isn't really ice cold compared to 32 degrees, but I drank the water and it was still pleasantly cool after 24 hours of sitting in my mug. Now, I did have the lid on and the lid also helps with the insulation. So had I have not used the lid, it probably would have come to room temperature a little faster because there's more surface area that's exposed. But I would have to say that especially 12 hours later to have it just two degrees warmer is amazing. So what happened when it was hot? Now with hot, let me start by saying I first started with a benchmark of just a regular old mug. I don't know. This is porcelain mug, right? It's very cute. And I put water in. Now, one really important thing to know is I live at altitude. I'm at a mile elevation. So boiling water temperature for us is 200 degrees, not 212. Interesting, huh? So when I poured boiling water into this and it was a cool mug, let me get look at my notes, then the hottest temperature I could get in a cold mug was 170 degrees. So the hot water had already lost 30 degrees of temperature by the time it actually hit the tumbler or mug and actually came up to its temperature. Now, of course, the outside of the mug got hot 
but holy cow, these things lose temperature fast. So the second time I actually warmed the mug up by letting it be in boiling water for a minute or two. And then I poured the hot water in. And that time the hot water was at 188 degrees. So that's 18 degrees warmer. So if you're obsessive with super hot liquids, then warm your mug up before you use it. <laughs> but it loses temperature super fast, so fast that 10 minutes later I had lost 18 degrees and 15 minutes later I was down to 135 degrees with the cold mug. On the hot mug it was even more dramatic. So I started out at 188 degrees and 30 minutes later it was down to 120 degrees. That means that in about 45 to 60 minutes your boiling water gets to room temperature. So this is a great example of a beverage container where you need to drink fast because it ain't going to keep it hot at all. And everyone that's ever had a cup of tea or coffee knows exactly what that experience is like. So by comparison, what happened with the Hydro Flask when I put boiling water in this? Now I didn't pre-warm it or anything and I can tell you that even just by itself with nothing else involved, the starting temperature for boiling water in here was 197 degrees. So it was almost exactly boiling, which was great. Now, how did I get the boiling water in? I have a hot water kettle. I got it to where it was boiling and then immediately poured it in. So it's not like I had a five minute interval or I was using other mechanisms or I was measuring things. There was nothing to cool it down, but even just right off the bat, this is 10, approximately 10 degrees warmer than the hottest I could get into a regular mug. But what happened after that? So let's see. So at 11 p.m., I tried these overnight. At 11 p.m., it was 197 degrees. At 6 a.m. the next morning, which would be seven hours later, it was 100 and, wait, I'm sorry. Let's see. Let's see. At 11 p.m. it was 197 degrees. At 1 a.m. this is where it was really handy to have iGrill actually plotting all this. And here's an example of the screen that it shows with the data. Um, fortunately, there's no way to compress time. So that's probably because it's really not designed for 12 hours of temperatures. It's designed for the 10 minutes it takes for you to cook your steak. Anyway, so at 11 p.m. it was 197 degrees. At 1 a.m. it was 177, so it had lost 20 degrees of temperature in two hours. At 3 a.m. it was 155. At 5 a.m. it was still at 140. And then at 6 a.m., which is seven hours later, it was at 132. So probably 5 a.m. is the critical one because that's the six hours. So 140 degrees is still pretty darn hot. So in this case, when Hydroflow says that it's hot for up to six hours, I would say that it probably lasts seven or eight hours. So six hours after I put boiling water in this, it was still at 140 degrees and that's still pretty hot. That's hot enough that you don't want to just chug it back because you will burn your mouth. So I would say in both cold and hot, this was a great success. And I really like Hydro Flask in case it's not obvious that we have this wide range of different products from them and they all have the same characteristics of this temp shield double wall vacuum insulation and I love the idea that I can put in iced tea. I drink a ton of iced tea. And I can put in iced tea, nice and cold with a lot of ice cubes and have it sit ignored for four hours and then pick it up again and it's still just as cold and the ice is still all there. That's amazing. This is so good at insulating that you could put hot coffee in on your way to work and then go out at lunchtime realizing you forgot it, grab it, and it's still too hot to drink. That is pretty amazing. So I continue to be a fan of Hydro Flask. I will encourage you to check them out. They are pricey, but they are beautiful products and they have a very nice feel to them. They're not slippery at all. There's, it's, not, it's not a rough surface, but there's a texture to it. So it actually has a very nice feel in your hands. The 32 ounce might be a smidge big. I actually prefer the 22 ounce, but this one was the one they sent and this is the one we used for our tests. And and it's big. Look at that. That's a lot of liquid capacity. <laughs> oh, other thing I want to mention is there's no BPA in any of their products. So that's one big issue for people that are health conscious is you want to have beverages and containers and storage and water bottles 
just stay away from that BPA stuff. Not good. Okay, so now let's just talk about the price. But before we get to the price, do me a favor and go ahead and click on that subscribe button if you can. I really appreciate when you subscribe to my channel and leave me some feedback, give me some comments. Do you have a Hydro Flask? Do you love it? Why? If you don't have a Hydro Flask, what's stopping you and what do you use instead? Or are you one of those old school mug people and you just wonder why your coffee is always cold? Hmm, there's a connection there. So. Anyway, this is the Hydro Flask Tumbler, 32 ounce, comes in 11 different colors. This is blueberry, and those 11 colors, it will cost you $39.95. The 22 ounce comes in 12 colors, and that one is $29.95. And as you can see here, there are a lot of really nice colors. They've done a very nice job with their design. So. I continue to be a fan, Hydro Flask, I say check them out, and this is Dave Taylor, and I will catch you in my next video.